What's up guys, Mike back here today, and we are back in Stone Block, and we got a lot to do this episode, so let's get into it. So first off, as you can see in my inventory, we're going to be upgrading this Mob Basher. Now, I probably should have done this a long time ago, but I didn't, so we're going to do it now. We're just going to fill it up with upgrades, and the only thing we're missing is Fire Aspect. What does that cost? That's a lot of flint and steels. Uh, I need 10 of those, so I need 40 flint and steels. Let's see how many of that gets us. Let's take that out of the system for now. So I got a 7. Just trash this so it stops trying to do that. That'd be eight, nine, ten. That should be ten total. Sweet. So we can add fire aspect to that. So now that is fully upgraded. I went ahead and upgraded all of our servos to resonant. Um don't really think they're going to keep up, but we're going to find out. I also, off camera, set up a bunch of these travel anchors so that I can pretty much travel anywhere in the base that I want. And I also did a little bit over here by the Tinkers. I moved the nether, the nether portal and the mining dimension portal because we're going to be setting up our draconic stuff right here, I think. And I need some more stone. Do I have any? I don't. So give me that. Give me one of these. We'll go use our auto chisel. Give me a stack of that. Thank you. Now we have some of those in backlog. My backpack back. Um, so I've been opening loot bags, and as you can see, we have a lot of storage upgrades. Um, but the weird thing is we ran out of lapis. How are we doing on, ooh, erodium? I think we have enough erodium to upgrade this to a tier 2 void ore miner. But we're going to do that in a minute. So, last episode we were setting up our mystical egg. And I pretty much maxed this thing out off camera. But real quick... I made a lapis chicken. I don't why don't know why I never made a lapis chicken, but I did. I made a tin 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 lapis. Anyway, we have some insane amount of mystical ag growth going on here. Um So as you guys can see, that's a lot that's coming in. So if we go down to the bottom down here. We have a ton of growth crystals down here. And we actually ran out of loot bags in order to do it. You see, we hardly have any loot bags left. Yeah. So I'm just going to let this cycle. We're going to put the rest of these down here. I also set up a wireless charger over here. Just so that whenever I'm doing uh, chickens, my flux capacitor automatically recharges my inventory. But, as far as Mr. Mystical Ag goes, so what I did was all around the edge of this 9x9 is Draconium seeds. And then the entire inside is Insanium. If we come over here, we have 21,000 Draconium and 319 Insanium. And it's not Insanium, it's Inferium seeds. And they're pretty much Instagrow. I think I can get it a little bit faster. So we're going to try that. But I mean we have a lot of Draconium. And we have a lot of Insanium too. So today's episode, the first thing we're going to do is check on our reactor. We're doing not bad. So we're going to upgrade our Void Ore Miner. I've been waiting to do this and I, I kind of want to go ahead and do it. So let's look up. Void or Miner. Tier 2 is 6 Erodium, 
a lens, a tier one controller, and a block of diamond. I also put a crystal laser lens in here as well. So let's break this. Let's just light that up for a second. So we need a block of diamond, which is not a problem. We need a lens. Did I ever teach you? I did not teach you how to make lenses. So now I gotta scroll through. That's what I want. I want a lens. And then I should have enough erodium in order to do this. I do. Okay, so let's plop you down. Let's get out our little assembler. What do you need? You need four null modifiers, 32 structure frame two or above, 16 structure panels, three laser cores, and a laser lens. So let's just get all of this. Okay, now I don't want to be using my crystal lens for this, so I'm going to put that in there. So let's go over here. How many structure panels did we need? 16, and we have 20. So we're good on structure panels. We need structure frames. So structure frame tier 2 requires tier 1 plus a rhodium plus lapis. Oh, I don't know if we're going to have enough erodium for that. How much erodium do we have? We have nine. Uh, we might not be able to do this yet. Oh, uh, we don't need, we don't have enough erodium. Crap. Okay, so let's... Since I completely derped that up, let's put you in there and let's make a... Void or minor tier one again. I don't want to use my crystal lens. So you need interconnects, lithorite, diodes, and a block of diamond. I needed two interconnects, I think. Two interconnects, lithorite. For you, need a block of diamond, a diode, and a lens. I think I taught it how to make diodes. I did not. Okay. And then, I think a lens is just this, I think. I don't remember how to make a lens. Okay. So now I should be able to make another tier one. So let's put you there, and let's just let it build back up. Okay. Why do we have extra structure panels? We don't. Okay, so then give me this. Put that there, and it should start back up running. That is completely my fault. I thought we had enough. So let's get rid of all of this. That can stay in there. So let's get started on Draconic Evolution. So the first thing that we want to make from at Draconic is a fusion crafting core. Okay, so let's make one of you. What am I missing? Oh, I'm missing lapis blocks. So we have our fusion crafting core, and then we're going to need, I think it's 12 of these. I'm wanting to say it's 12. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um. We look at something like, I don't know, a wyvern upgrade. So it's four, eight. So maybe we only need eight of these. By the way, do you know how to make draconic cores? You don't. All right, so let's first off, let's teach this how to make draconic cores. Let's teach you how to make draconic cores. And then you should know how to make iron blocks. Oh yeah, by the way, I did 
go ahead and complete this quest. So the only thing we have left is the tier 8, which tier 8 solar panels require dragon eggs. And then we got to do the whole, what is this, extra utilities, I think? Yeah, extra utils too for the power generation. And then we got to do solar reborn. Or environmental tech, sorry. Alright, so we need to do... Give me eight. How many of them do I need? Eight plus we should probably teach it how to make wyvern cores while we're at it. Let's teach you how to make wyvern cores. We're also going to start needing nether stars. Um... Give me 10 of these. Do I not have any iron blocks? Eight, nine, ten. So that'll let us set up a basic, a very basic fusion craft. So let's do this. One, two, three. I think you can do three, three, and one. And that should go in the center. I think you can do that. You should be able to do that. Let's actually do this. There we go. So then we need to run power to these. So give me signalum flux ducts. I kind of want to move this out from the wall one. Let's let's actually do that. Let's move this one back. Now, I just want to see if this will work right. This works the way I think it does. So just for laughs, we're going to move, we're going to do this, just for laughs. Are you guys getting power? How do you tell if you guys are getting power? I swear these need power. I don't know why. Why is it not showing me the power they need? You do need power, right? Yeah, you need um, over a million RF. So, what's the deal? Huh. Okay. So let's just go... Let's go down here. I want that center block there. Now, you should be able to run straight over here to this capacitor in order to have power. Yeah, I can tap in. Whoa, not cool. So, I should be able to tap in right here in order to give that power. And then, as far as this one goes, all I gotta do is come over here a couple blocks. and run these guys power here. And then everybody should be happy, right? Everybody has power, everybody should be happy. So if I say, give me this, if I say put you in there and I want to make a wyvern, I need a wyvern, draconian block, two draconic cores. 
So I need one of you, two of you, and a draconium block. And then I need four diamonds. Oh, I need to do... I want single item on all these. Yeah, so now they only take one item, which is awesome, because the old Draconic Evolution, you couldn't do that. So then, you work? Yes, you work well, good. Okay. Why are you really slow? We should give, be giving you, like, an insane amount of power. Why are you no... Why are you no fast? That should be, like, instant. With the amount of power that I have. Do I need to put another capacitor over there? I don't think I should. Okay, so that gave me a wyvern fusion injector. Okay. Um, now the way that we're going to automate this is there's a couple ways you can do it. I am going to put a capacitor over here. Just because I can Let's go here. Make me capacitors. Make me four octatic. I want a capacitor bank. I want a vibrant. So I need that there. And why are my octatics not done? They should have been done instantly. What's the problem here? Cancel that. What the fuck? Why are we not making capacitors exactly? You should be making me capacitors. What's the problem here? We're not low on power. There's no way in hell we're low on power. Did I fuck something up over here? All smelting. Okay, so... Can you make me one of those? What are you stuck on? I bet you're stuck on energetic alloy. Pulverized coal accepts any coal dust. Is it because I doubled that up? So we have pulverized coal. Is that not... I wonder if that's not ore dictionaried. Um, give me... Capacitor, capacitor. You're not ore dictionary. Glowstone, double layer, vibrant alloy. Okay, so I need to go to you, and I need to ore dictionary you. Okay. So now if I say, give me a double layer, you know how to do that? Or what's the fucking deal? So you're processing coal, so that's fine. At least now it's processing coal. Okay, why are we... What? I don't understand why it's hung up on coal. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to figure this out off camera. Alright guys, I'm back. And I done a little bit of stuff off camera, as you can see. I run some cabling over to get this automated. Now, I've never actually automated Draconic Evolution with refined storage. 
So we're going to see how this goes. I also taught the system how to make resonant filters because I think we're going to need filters on these. I'm going to whitelist one is because that's single mode. Right? So I don't think I need to worry about the numbers. I think I just need filters. And I need three, six, seven, eight more. So let's get those crafting. And I got us a crafter. I think I can just place that there. And this should work. I am... I, this is way out of my league. This is... Just me eyeballing it and kind of, kind of trying. So then you can go here and you guys can go here like so. Okay. I'm going to need more filters. So now I need to filter. All of you on whitelist. Okay. Okay. Now I don't think I need to filter this. Because that should just be the last block that goes in. Um. So let's try something here. Let's not use that crafter. Let's use, let's get a chest. I'm going to need a servo too. Yeah, give me one of them. That's fine. That should be pretty much instant craft. So in order to make these, the fusion crafters, what happened to the one I had? I had one in here. Okay. Screw it. Let's just take this one. Let's just get rid of all this for now. Just because we're testing. Oh, I had one in my inventory. So let's put a basic... Actually, let's not even put that in there. Let's do a wyvern core, two draconium, and a draconium block. Wyvern core, two draconium, a draconium block four diamond. So if I put, if I say you're whitelisting that, you're going to whitelist that, you're also going to whitelist that, and then you're going to whitelist that, and then you're going to whitelist, you're going to whitelist, you're going to whitelist, and you're going to whitelist. Right? So that gives me one, two, four diamonds, one block, two wyverns, and a, or two draconic and a wyvern core. Okay, so now if I put all of this in here, and I kick a servo on, everybody goes in? No, why did it not? And where the hell did my other diamonds go? Okay, so I am going to have to do, okay, so I am going to have to do the single, single item thingy. That's fine. I was hoping that because these were in single item mode, I didn't have to set these. And I might have to have a filter on this guy, I don't know. Alright, so let's put all of this in here. So everybody fills up. Yes! Okay, cool. So that went in there. So now, all we have to do to fire this off is give this a redstone signal. So if I get like... Do I have levers? Uh, just give me a lever. I don't know why I taught it levers, but apparently I did. So if I give that a redstone signal, we auto-fire. Awesome. So now, in theory, I should be able to get rid of this chest... I should be able to put an auto crafter here. And now my question is, do I have to put an exporter on this to get this back into the system? 
and do I have to put an exporter on this? If I do, I'm going to run this into a chest. I don't exactly know. So, come on, finish your craft. Okay, so I am going to have to put a servo on him. Anytime now, a servo would be nice. What's the hold up on the servo? Of course, as soon as I fly over there, we freaking get one. So now if I put a servo on you and I say ignored, you're not pulling out of there. Why? Why you no pull out? What the hell? Why is that not coming out of there? That should totally... That should totally come out of there. Okay, so, how else can I get that out of there? God, get rid of these fucking blocks. How else can I get that out of there if I can't use a servo? Or I wonder if it's because that won't let it push back into that. So let's do, let's get rid of this. Let's do a chest here. You're still not coming out. Okay, if I take that off of there, put you there. Okay, so now it came out, and it went into the chest. So then I need an export, or an importer. Make me one of those. And get rid of this. I should be able to put my crafter there. Okay, is my importer done? Importer, it is. Good. You should be able to put an importer here. Uh, and I should be able to run cables like so. So you went out of the system, so now I should have a fusion crafting injector. Okay. So now if I take you off of here, put you in here that back into the system and I make a pattern for these wonder if that'll work so if I go here and I go processing you okay so get rid of all of this so that's four diamonds I need a wyvern core or I need draconic cores I need two of you right I need two draconic Two Draconic, four Diamond, and a block of Draconium. So make me a block of Draconium. And, and that equals a crafting. Okay, so if I go over here, and I plop you in here, and I say, at Draconic, make me one of those. What are we missing? We're missing, how the hell are we missing? Oh, I used Industrial, I'm a dumbass. rid of that. Give me, give me Minecraft diamonds. So now if I put this in here and I say fusion, give me one. Everybody's going to be happy. Did that just cycle the items back? Son of a bitch. That totally cycled those items back. Okay. So let's do... Do a servo on you. Now, give me one of these. Okay, so everybody went in. Everybody didn't go in. Okay, so cancel that. So how can I do... No, because I need, I need that importer to come off of, can I just 
pull that importer off of you. Yeah, you'll accept an importer. So if I pull an importer off of you, and I run it like some jank-ass wiring up here, now does it work? If I say give me one of those, everybody should get their items. Okay. Where the hell did my crafter thing go? Why did you not go in there? Oh, it can't go in there because there's no item dot. Put that there, so it should auto put that in there. And then let's go off of Bach. Can I go off of there for some stupid reason? Let's grab an acceleration wand. Because once this fires off, we can accelerate it. So then, how am I going to get items out of that, is my question. I mean, I could just do something stupid like this. As bad as that looks, I could literally do that. So now I have a fusion crafter. So if I may say, I want another one of those. Now we need to be able to give that a redstone signal. So what can we do for redstone pulse? Um, redstone clock. Can I just do like that? So if I say give me another fusion crafting tank. Everybody should go. No, why did you go in there? What the fuck? Why the hell did it go in there? You should have went in there. What? Hang on. Give me all this back. Why did it decide to go in there? I don't... what? Why is that going in there? Okay. I can solve this. Give me another filter. I'll fix your ass. And that did fire it off. Uh, what are we waiting on for a filter? I think we're just waiting for that crafting to get done. Okay. So then I say one whitelist fusion. So if I whitelist, wait, is this not, that's whitelisted, whitelist that, fusion, and I need one of those, everybody should go in their corresponding thingies, right, and we should fire off, awesome, that is fucking sweet, that is, that is sweet. How much can signalum, how much can these transfer? 16,000 RF it takes. So if I go flux, duct, what's the next upgrade from signalum? Resident, which is 25,000, which is just that. So I'm gonna go make this real quick. Let's teach the system how to make resonant flux duct. If I say give me some flux duct, how many do I have? I have 
Oh, it uses empty ones. Oh. Wait, so why don't you know how to make those? So now I'm blocks dot. Why doesn't it know how to make signal and flux dot? So that's redstone energy flux dot. Okay. So you're using those. So it doesn't know how to make redstone energy flux dot. Okay, that makes a little more sense. So that to that to that. Okay. So make me some of these. That really sucks that that doesn't use signalum. It uses the empty ones, not the full ones. And it's got to make up some silicon and some other stuff. Uh, so let's continue fusion crafting. So I need. Fusion, be that. Make me another one of those. I'm missing nether stars. Okay. So let's solve our nether star problem real quick. Let's make a wyvern sword. So I need a wyvern core and a draconic core. So I need a wyvern core. Make me one of those. Oh, I'm missing nether stars. I need nether stars to make the thing I want nether stars for. Okay. Uh, soul sand. Because what we can do... put this in here. That should be able to kill that. Okay, do I have my flux ducts yet? I do. So now if I tell you to make me a stack of those, you're missing signalum. Empty signalum flux duct. But you know how to make signalum flux ducts, right? What? You know how to make empty signal and flux duct. You know how to make the full ones. Okay. Okay, okay. This makes a little more sense. So give me this. Give me redstone flux duct those are empty so those are fine I need the signalum flux duct empty I need that in there so now you should know how to make flux duct right now you know how to make those and why is that not killing that wither exactly? I don't think I have that thing set up right. Can I go down that, please? What? Why you no kill wither? Oh, okay, I don't understand why this doesn't kill this wither, but... I'm going to fix this here in a little bit off camera. Because I know what the problem is. The area is too big. It's too big of an area for the withers to be in. And I think I can do this a little different with a different mod. So we're going to try that. Spawn me another wither. Give me that. Let's kill another one. Because I think I need two wither skulls. 
or two nether stars, I should say. Anytime now. just gonna set that there for now because like I said I'm gonna be back down here in just a second fixing this take me back over to there so now I should know I should have flux ducts and I should be able to fill those with destabilized redstone to get resonant okay okay so I'm going to work on this a little bit off camera here because it's just kind of crafting is all this is. And I'm going to fix that wither killer too. So let's go over here. Let's get rid of all of the signalum flux ducts that we put in. All of this, we should be able to run resin. So that should give us a lot more power going into this system, which is something we're definitely going to need, especially once we get into the higher crafting tiers. We're going to be begging for power, and we're probably going to have to crank that reactor up very very soon so now we have a ton more power and let's put that up and that up ready you and how are my flux ducts I can deal with those later so let's do another one of these so I want a fusion what? Where did my fusion thing go? Didn't I make one? No. Apparently I never ordered it. Because there's one in the system. Okay. So now that we have nether stars, can we make a wyvern sword? So I need a wyvern core and a wyvern energy core. Give me a wyvern core. And I'm pretty sure a wyvern energy core is just a draconic energy core. Plus some redstone blocks. So now we should have... What? Yeah, I never actually made that. Apparently I need to make a diamond sword. So now we have a sword of the wyvern which will automatically fill up as we're walking around because we have our flux capacitor and we have our wireless chargers, which is awesome. So go ahead and let's do another fusion crafter. And this is really repetitive, so I'm going to do all this off camera and i got to fix that wither thing in between episodes. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know down below, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!